By the way, it's not just Jesus glorifying the Father. If I show you God glorifying Jesus as God and the Creator, will you accept that? So Jesus created the earth. Is that what you're telling me? God the Father praises and glorifies Jesus for creating the heavens and the earth and being the Lord who is the God that rules forever. There you go. There's a, there's a, your tap dancing. No, this I'm telling you that's in my Bible, Hebrews 1, 8 to 12. I can read it if you want. Or if you want to put that aside, we can talk about Tawheed because you, you still haven't gotten to Tawheed because no matter what this I show you. It's all a part of Tawheed because you're telling me that Jesus and God are, 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 are one God. Yes. I'm asking you. Yes. I'm asking you. Is Jesus the one that 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 created Adam? Yes, Adam. according to our Bible, the Father with Jesus, His Son, and the Holy Spirit created everything. Yes. So why is it that in the Old Testament there's no mentioning of a son? Well, who told you there's no mentioning? I'm going to give you a mention. I can give it to you. Here, Proverbs 30, verses 3 and 4. Hold on, my friend. Let me show it to you. Proverbs You're 30. telling me the son is mentioned. Yes. The son. Yeah, I'm about to read it if you let me. Yes. It's mentioned in the Old Testament. Yes, Proverbs 30, verses 3 and 4. Proverbs 30, verses 3 and 4. You want me to read it for you? You ready so I can read it? But don't 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 play no games. I gave you the verses. Proverbs chapter 30, verses 3 and 4. What games? Let me read it. I'll give you the link to the Hebrew. Here. I neither learn wisdom nor have knowledge of the Kadoshim. Kadoshim is plural of Kadosh, holy ones. I don't have knowledge of the holy ones, meaning these holy ones are beyond my ability to understand. Now watch this. Who has ascended? Who has gone up to heaven and come down? Yes. Whose hands have gathered up the wind? Go ahead. Who has wrapped up the waters in a cloak? Keep going. Who has established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? And what is the name of his son? Bam! Surely you know. But you know what? There you this, go. This doesn't really uh, say to me that God is mentioning that he has a son. Hold on. Who is the one that controls the winds and the waters and ascends and descends? Who is he? Who is that one? Who is it? Read it. Who ascends and descends throughout the heavens and the earth? Who controls the winds and the waters? Who has power over creation? You tell me that's not God? Well, we believe. Who we is believe it that. in that verse? It says, what is his name? So who is it? God, right? And what is his son's name? So God and his son do that together. It's right there. This is not this is not the, in, in the original Hebrew. And I'm, okay, I'm going to give you the link to the original Hebrew. Can you read it? So, you know, because all the Bibles now come with the Old Testament. You need to go to a Jewish store okay. and buy the Hebrew Okay, Bible. I got the Hebrew online. You can read it here. Interlinear. The Hebrew is right there. You don't even need to read Hebrew. You can see it's it. it's changed too. But oh, okay. there we go again. So why do you keep asking me to show you verses when you can say it's changed? Do you want to go back to Tawheed and the Quran now or no? But isn't this a part of it? Oh, well, if I show you the Hebrew, you're going to say it's changed. Here it is. Here's the Hebrew. I'm going to give you the link. Wait. You're going to see the I Hebrew. believe the Old Testament is more accurate than the New okay, Testament. Okay, then here you go. It's Here's your accurate. completely accurate. Okay, well, here goes your accurate Old Testament. Hold but on. Kemmel, ya habibi. Go ahead. Yeah, Azizi, hold on. I'm trying to get you. Where's the... Uh, hold on, man. How do I find your... La hawla wa la quwwata illa bil masih. Ibn Allah huwa Allah al-Masihu Akbar. Here you go. Click on that. Click on it. And I'm going to give it to everyone else. Here you go, guys. Here's the link for all of you guys. Okay. It's right there in the Hebrew. Well, I, I don't I cannot I cannot believe that. That's why you gotta change religion and come to Jesus and give up Islam because you're following the false religion. So do you want to go Tawheed in the Quran? Or well, I don't what? understand why why you're not willing to become a Muslim. Why would I? If I go to Muslim, because I go to Because you hell. don't have to give up the teachings of Jesus when you're yes, a Muslim. Yes, I do. Can I worship Jesus as my Lord and Savior, as the Son of God who became... No, you don't worship okay. him, but you can still follow him. No, I'm... I'm uh, it's, okay, why don't I become a Mormon? Because they follow Jesus, so I should be a Mormon. They still believe in the Trinity. No, they don't. They have a very perverted concept of God. It's not Trinity. But why don't I follow the Mormons? They're after Muhammad, and they're spreading like wildfire. And at least they... <clears throat> 
will use my Bible, even though they'll misinterpret like you do. But why not follow them? Or even better, forget about Mormons. I want to be a Baha'i. Can I follow Baha'u'llah and the ba ba Baha'ism? They acknowledge all the prophets. But Islam, of... Islam is proven to be true. Oh, my goodness. How is it proven to be true when it contradicts the Bible and contradicts the prophets of the Bible? and the It actually Jesus? completed the Bible. How is it con completing the Bible when everything I show you in the Bible contradicts the Quran? You say it's corrupted. So are you, can Not you show Not so much completing as, as correcting. I should say. The Quran nowhere says it corrects the Bible. You want to now open that topic? We can go into what the Quran says about the Bible. See, now you're changing the topic. You caught it, right? I don't mind. You want to go there? Let's go there. Do you want to look at what the Quran actually says about the Bible? doesn't say what you just claimed. All right, let's let's go with Tawheed and then we'll see. If we okay, what Tawheed? I keep saying, let's go to Tawheed and the Quran. You keep changing the subject. You want to talk about your Tawheed and the Quran? Yes. Okay, then open up Surat al Maryam, chapter 19. Read for me 16 to 21. And I'm glad you, at least you can somewhat read the Arabic so you know that when it's written. Yeah, I, 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 I can. I can. Okay. okay, read it for me. Just read the English, chapter 19, verses 16 to 21. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Uh, Ayah 16, all the way 21, yeah. 16 to 21? Yes. Uh, and give an account of Mary in this book when she withdrew from her people to an eastern spacious place of the temple. Now keep in mind, you you know, um, you're not, you're not, we not only do we have to look at these verses, uh, Sam, mm -hmm. but after we read these verses, we must look at, at the tafsir. Okay, the I'm not gonna is going to cause otherwise. trouble for you uh, because, because I'm not going to allow you to interpret this any way you okay. want and put your own spin on it. You know, Jihad, once you go to the tafsir, you're going to be in trouble, right? I'm going to show you. We, we will go to the tafsir. Okay, good. We go to tafsir, but it's going to cause huge problems. More problems. Not best. Okay, can you finish? <laughs> Even finish the verses yet? And give an account of Mary in this book when she withdrew from her people to an eastern spacious place. Then she screened herself off from them. Then we sent to her our revelation. That's not what it says, right? It doesn't say we sent to her our revelation. That's not what it says. Can you tell me okay. what the Arabic says? Ruhana. Ruhana. Yeah, so we sent to her our ruh, our spirit, right? Ruhana. Yep. So we sent to her our spirit, and that spirit appeared like what? In the form of a perfect, well-proportioned man. So, so far, the spirit appeared as a perfect-looking man. Good. Keep going. That's what the... Let me see. Well, at least finish the ayat, and then we can go to Ibn Abbas. Mary said, I invoked the most gracious God to defend me from you. If you guard the least against evil. He said, I am but a messenger of your Lord. I give you glad tidings. That's not what it says either. It doesn't say I give you glad tidings. Le ahabba means I, I am messenger of your Lord to give you. I come to give you. Yep. I come to give you, not glad tidings. So correct that mistranslation. So it says, I am only a messenger of the Lord to give you, I will <inaudible> give you. Give you what? Give you a son. So the Spirit's going to give Mary a son, right? What yeah, kind of no, son? no, no. I what give kind you, of son, yeah, though? The glad tidings is parentheses. I am but a messenger of your Lord. I give you a, a son. What kind of son? Yeah. Didn't just say son. It said, what kind of son? A pure son. Okay, wait. So who's going to give her a son while she's a virgin? Who's going to cause her to conceive and give birth to a pure son? Allah. No, it says, I will, the spirit. So you just said the spirit is Allah? So the spirit I'm is Allah? going to give her the son. The spirit said, I am sent to give you the son. Read it, man. So 19. 
Yeah, they, yeah. So the spirit is Allah? Because you said Allah gives her the son, but the spirit says, I've come to give you the son. So the spirit is Allah? Well, let's okay. see what the tafsir says. Good, because the tafsir is now going to give you nightmares. So I'll let you read it. Go ahead. You want to go with tafsir, now it's going to give you nightmares. But... Go ahead. You want the tafsir, right? You don't want to stick with but, Quran. But, Good. But, 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 but this, what? This doesn't. This doesn't. This doesn't. Uh, the what? Doesn't want. Go. This doesn't really. I, I look, 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 look. I, I've heard. I've seen this whole sp uh, spirit. Oh, oh. I even heard in there Ruh al Quddus in the Quran. Yes, but there is. It, it doesn't. It doesn't make sense. What doesn't make sense? You're saying your Quran doesn't make sense? Are you attacking your own Quran? What are you talking about? I mean, this is uh, this is. Um, you just attacked your Quran, right? Least, you, you, because I'm not a scholar. Jihad, you just heard yourself, right? You just said your Quran doesn't make sense. You just attacked your Quran. You just said it. What? The, this doesn't make so your Quran doesn't make sense. You are now you commit an act of kufr. You're a kafir now. In a no, 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 no. You just no. said it. I'm saying it doesn't make sense to me. But because I don't have knowledge. As okay. Much as the, okay, you know, but now notice the trick. When I quote something in the Bible, and you say, "Well, that makes no sense," you reject it. But now when something doesn't make sense for you in the Quran, you still accept it even though it doesn't make sense to you. But when it comes to the Bible, if it doesn't make sense to you, you reject it. But when it comes to the Quran making no sense, you still accept it. Well, I need to see what the official Islamic position okay. is on... Can you read on... one more verse and then you can go to your tafsir? I'll let you read your tafsir, but can you go to Surah Al-Tahrim 66 verse 12? 66 for so because I want you to see how the spirit got Mary pregnant. Read 66:12, Surah Al-Tahrim 66. How how the spirit got Mary pregnant with Jesus while she was a virgin. I know this. I know okay, this. well then read it. So tell to? me, what does it say? And Maryam bit the Imran ahsanat farjaha, right? Ahsanat farja. What does that mean? Translate that. And Mary, the daughter of Imran, Ahsanat Farjaha. What does that mean? Guarded her chastity. No, you know what the word Faraj means, right? It guard, mean. gu guarded her... Uh, guarded herself in her... Come on, be more honest. Genesis. Farja means what? Farj means what? She guarded what? Don't be ashamed. She of your guarded crumbs. her virginity. Just leave it no, there. No, it's not virgin. Okay. Or right, you want to leave there? We'll leave there. All right. Okay. 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 Let's leave it there. I know you. You under, You know what it means. Okay. And then it says, "We breathe. We blew into fi he into him. Him who meaning the farj, right? Yeah. Of our spirit. So why did Allah blow His spirit into Mary's farj, her private part, to do what? To give her the child. So you're admitting Allah blew the spirit into her private part to conceive by the spirit the child. So you just admit the spirit created Jesus in Mary's womb. So the spirit is the creator. Hang on a minute here. Well, I'm hanging on, man. I'm hanging on. Okay, so there you go. So if you want to read to Ibn Abbas, go ahead, because now it's going to cause more problems for you. So you want to read Ibn Abbas? You want me to read it or you got it? Ibn Abbas, tafsir of... Uh, which you have it or you want me to get it for you? Yeah, you want to send me... Uh, yeah, let Ibn me get Abbas. you the link so you can read. Hold on. Let's see. This is the one you wanted. Okay. So you which one? You want this for 6612 or you want it for 19? So did the for, nine, for 19. Okay. okay. I've, I've... All right. Here you go. All right. Let's see. Well, let me just get you the page itself because it's gonna, it doesn't all show up. Hold on one second. Uh, and I don't. I don't. I don't think. Uh... Okay. Here you go. This is Ibn Abbas. I'll let you read it. 
And then you got to read 19. We're going to give you the link for uh, 19 as well. Here you go. This is a click on it, the Ben Abbas, and read it for everyone. Guys, for the rest of you, here's the link. All right. All right. Now, you want to read it or I'm going to read it? Yes, we don't say that the spirit is a separate entity. Okay, that's fine. But do you want me to read it or you want to read it? You guys say he's a separate entity. Okay, I know that. You want to read it or do you want me to read Ibn Abbas? Uh, it says Anne had chosen so that she purifies herself after the end of her menses. Then we sent our unto her our spirit. And but who, that's in parentheses, so that she purifies herself after then. Our messenger Gabriel, when she had finished purifying herself, okay, people can't hear you. So the parentheses because they're quoting the verse. So it's saying the ayah says, then we sent unto her our spirit, and then the commentary of Ibn Abbas says, our messenger Gabriel. So he's saying this is Gabriel. The spirit is Gabriel. So when she had finished purifying herself. And so Gabriel appeared as a man. Okay, let's go with that. But now watch this one. This is Ibn Abbas. I'm gonna... I need the full tafsir. So, yeah, but uh... you got to keep going. That's why I'm going to give you now the verse 19 of Ibn Abbas. Here it is. Here it goes. And we're going to look at what he says in 6612. Here it is. This is now what he says about verse 19. This is him. I just gave you the link. As you look at it, I'm going to read it for the benefit of people. He said, that's in front of these, Gabriel said to her, I'm only a messenger of thy Lord that I may bestow on thee, that Allah may bestow on you a faultless son, righteous son. What? Let me open it and see. Okay, now, I just read what it says. Now, I want to show you what they say about 6612, the Sibana Abbas. Yeah, these two tapas here don't, don't support you. No, well, it's going to backfire against you, but you're not paying attention. Because let's go with it now. I'm glad you went to the tafsir. Now you can't run from this tafsir. Here's Ibn Abbas, tafsir 6612. It's now going to backfire yeah, the against two, you. They, 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 didn't, uh, they didn't avail. My friend, it's actually going to prove my case if you're patient. Because let's agree. I want everyone to agree. We went with Ibn well, Abbas. Listen, yeah, okay, okay. Let, let's go with uh, Ibn Abbas. Let, pay, pay attention, though. I just gave you the link in Surah Tatarim 6612. Ibn Abbas said, the spirit is Gabriel. Gabriel appeared as a man and saying that, I have come to give you a faultless son. Allah will give you a faultless son. Now let's read Ibn Abbas on 6612. Surah Tahrim 6612. Are you ready? Because you wanted Ibn Abbas, but you're going to now, you're stuck with it. Are you ready? You know, I'm, I'm... Can I read 6612 though, before you argue with me? What Ibn Abbas said about 6612. Can I read it? I gave you the link. Can I read it? Can I begin? Tell me yes so I can begin reading. And Mary, daughter of Imran, whose body was chaste, therefore we breathe therein something of our spirit. For that's in parentheses. Though. Now that's the verse. Parentheses means that he's quoting the ayah, and now he's going to give you the meaning. So what's the and meaning? So, and so Gabriel breathed inside her garment. And she became pregnant with Jesus. So you just made Gabriel your God, Allah. Did you catch it? Let me read it before you argue. And Mary, daughter of Imran, whose body was chaste, therefore we, this is Allah speaking, we breathe therein something of our spirit. So Allah says no, we Gabriel, breathe. Allah just gives Gabriel. Okay, let Egypt. me finish. Don't cut me off because you're twisting. The Arabic, says, the Arabic says we breathe therein. That's Surah Al-Tahrim. But then Ibn Abbas said, Gabriel did the breathing. But the ayah said, Allah breathed. Because so, he breathed the spirit to Gabriel and Gabriel passed it. To, to no, it didn't say Gabriel passed it. It said Gabriel breathed. So Ibn that's Abbas, what it is. Okay, so you're saying that Gabriel is with Allah and Gabriel and Allah breathe the spirit. So Gabriel is Allah's Gabriel, partner. Good job. Gabriel is Allah's angel. And his, and his partner, right? Because assistant. when Allah breathes, Gabriel breathes. Don't tap dance. It's not, it's, it's not about that. It's about Gabriel. Gabriel takes orders. I don't care if he takes orders. He's the one who breathed the spirit. But the ayah said, we breathe. Allah breathes. So if 
Gabriel's breathing, then he's part of Allah. He has no power to do anything on his own. So Allah made Gabriel his partner and gave him power. So Allah committed shirk. Good job. Keep going. Keep going. See, that's you. That's you. You're, that's you playing games now. Don't what playing games? The, I, I don't want you. Listen, don't say things outside of the scripture and put your own twist. On. I went with the scripture. You went to the they commentary. The scripture, yeah, yeah, cuz. Okay? Jihad, you went to the commentary. I stuck with the scripture. Okay, okay. we're on the tafsir right okay. now. Let's try to let's try to break. Okay, this before you break it down, okay, before you break it down, can you go back to the ayah? Show me where the Quran says Gabriel did the breathing. Doesn't the ayah say we breathe? Allah did the breathing. Oh, I can't do this anymore. This is so. And so Gabriel breathed inside her garment, and she became pregnant with Jesus. So who got her pregnant? Okay, let's not go there. I'm not but going how, there. Who got her pregnant? Gabriel, right? Because he breathed the spirit into her and she became pregnant. I'm not saying he had sex with her. It's a virgin birth. Who got her pregnant? God made her pregnant with his with with his qadr, his power. So then how come it says Gabriel breathed the spirit? That's when she got pregnant. Because if Gabriel breathed it, then it's it's the same. Because Gabriel oh, it's the works same. for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay, so wait. When Gabriel breathes, it's the same as Allah breathing. And you still don't say you just made Gabriel Allah's partner? Not a partner. It's not a partner. You just said Gabriel breathed, and yet it's actually Allah breathing. It's not but a partner. It's a servant. But still, who gave him the power to breathe life into Mary? You said Allah, right? Allah so Allah allowed power. Gabriel to share in his ability to breathe life. He passed the spirit to him. Oh, so hold on. So he goes to Gabriel, and Gabriel then swallows and it goes right into Mary. Is that what you're saying? Allahu alam. That's all you can say is Allah knows best? Allahu alam? And no, here again, he's coming back. Okay, right? but here, here's the thing, Jia. Notice what you did again. When something doesn't make sense to you in the Bible, you reject it, saying it doesn't make sense. Now, when the Quran makes absolutely no sense and contradicts itself and turns Gabriel into Allah's partner, it doesn't make sense, but Allahu Alam, I still believe it. So you blindly follow the Quran, but won't follow Jesus in the Bible. Because we're. I mean, no, no, nobody asks these questions because you've been blinded all your life to follow blindly. You are, a, you are a blind follower. You do taklid. You follow Doesn't blindly. None of the shiuks uh, discuss these things. Say it again. None of the shiuks discuss these things. Yeah, because they're not stupid to discuss it because they know you're going to lose your faith, so they want to keep you blind. And Jesus came to give you eyes to see by His servants and the power of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And so Gabriel breathed inside her garment, and she became pregnant with Jesus, and she put faith so in So Gabriel the created story. Jesus. Wow. So Gabriel is co-creator with Allah. Wow. That's not what it... I'm not going to allow you to say that. Well, okay. I'm just going by the commentary. Did he just breathe because he had nothing better to do, or he breathed so he can cause her to get pregnant with Why a child? Why are you fixated on Gabriel? Because you went to the commentary, and the commentary said Gabriel breathed, but the ayah said Allah breathed. You, so we, breathed? We, we, we were looking at this to discuss the Holy Spirit, were we not? Yeah, but then so do you want to reject the commentary so you can go back to the Quran now? Because I didn't want the commentary. You wanted it. Okay, but I thought we were we, the idea of this point was the Holy Spirit, and you turned it into Gabriel. No, your commentary turned it into Gabriel. Did I say it's Gabriel or did your commentary say it's Gabriel? I don't believe it's Gabriel. Your commentary is wrong. You told me Ibn Abbas. Did I bring up Ibn I don't want Ibn Abbas. He's wrong. Well, you're making the spin as if Gabriel is a partner with Allah when he's not. We, we, I explained that okay. he's the So servant. did Allah give Gabriel the ability to breathe life like Allah breathes life? Yes or no? But the Quran doesn't say Gabriel. Exactly. So can we now toss out the commentary? You went to Ibn Abbas. I don't want Ibn Abbas. I want Quran. So you reject the well, commentary let's now? Check what, well, let's, say, let's check what Ibn Kathir says. He says Gabriel. Him too. 
He says Gabriel, Jibreel. He says the same thing. So does Qurtubi. So does Tabari. So do you want to reject the commentary? So let's stick with the Quran. If the Quran says that Allah has a spirit, then I, I, I can't reject it. Okay, but can you show me in the Quran where the spirit is Gabriel? I haven't seen anything like that. Exactly, because the spirit is not Gabriel in the Quran. The spirit is not an angel. Suppose, okay, okay you know what, Sam? Suppose, so suppose in a hypothetical situation, you you poked a hole in the Quran. Let's say you did. Okay. Let's say you did. How does that make your Bible right? Uh, you're the one who said, "Let's talk about Tawheed in the Quran." So you're back to the Bible again. <laughs> okay, hold on now. Now it says we breathe our spirit, right? So. Allah yeah, breathed out the spirit. Our spirit. Okay, now, uh, okay, but pay attention to my point. Okay, but pay attention to what I'm asking you. It says Allah breathed out the spirit. That means the spirit came out of Allah because he breathed them out of himself, right? Right? He breathed out the spirit, right? We breathed it out. So that means the spirit came out of Allah because he breathed them out of himself. Because when I breathe, the breath is coming out of me, right? Right? That's what the Quran is saying. Okay, so good. You're saying that Allah breathed the spirit out of himself. Well, if the spirit came out of Allah, that means it's a part of Allah. How can it be created? How can something that's part of Allah be created? That means you just admit the spirit is uncreated because it comes out of Allah. And there's nothing in Allah that's created. Allah's not created. Yeah, and then the spirit came out of Allah because he breathed them out. Like when I breathe, that breath came out of me. It's a part of me. It's inside me. So if Allah breathed out the spirit, that means the spirit was in him and came out of him. And if it's in him, it can't be created because there's nothing in Allah created, right? Allah's uncreated and the spirit is a part of Allah. So it's also uncreated. Takbir al Masihu Akbar. We just got you to admit the spirit is uncreated. And yet the spirit is separate from Allah because Allah sends him and the spirit is his messenger. That's two. You're one step closer. Keep going. Keep going. I'm just going by the Quran. Good. So that means your tohi that you were taught by your uh, shiyukh, mashayikh, they deceived you because that's not Quranic tohi. <laughs> Well, so you're now, you've got two that are eternal. Good job.